So first off, what is it that we talk about when we say diverse, inclusive? So generally, diversity stems from any kind of attribute that differentiates people. So anything that uh, makes us notice uh, that there is a difference between people leads to diversity. And things we typically mean by this are, for example, the age of a person, young people, older people, teenagers, kids, uh, the gender of a person, the nationality is a common uh, differentiator. Then it could be other things like the language they speak, which of course is sometimes related to the nationality as well. Uh, since we are here in software engineering or computer science, it could also be the programming language, things like that. Um, but then also aspects like personality, for example, are they different because they behave different? Uh, or topics like neurodiversity, are they having uh, autism spectrum disorder, for example? So uh, they simply behave in a different way, they might understand the world differently than you and they might communicate different. So that's something that differentiates people. Uh, and of course, depending on where you are in the world, there might be a lot of other things that play a role, but these are very common aspects of diversity in society. Uh, and then diversity in general uh, is the concept of basically valuing that there are differences between people. So valuing human differences and recognizing in particular that uh, there might also be different talents based on that. So it's not like someone is different from you and that's a bad thing, but someone is different from you, they might contribute with different aspects of them being different in particular. So that's in general diversity and then we have the topic of inclusion uh, and that's then uh, diversity is one thing you could have diversity in your society for example a very obvious one is that you have different genders and different ages in all groups uh, in society but then inclusive uh, inclusion is essentially whether everyone is actually feeling welcome uh, included, are they part of society, uh, are they feeling safe, etc. So are they really included? And that's of course a big difference. So uh, if you for example go in a country where there is blatant racism everywhere, you might have diversity in race but uh, if you are sort of on, of the wrong race, you might definitely not feel welcome or safe. So those two things are uh, often separated. And then we have the concept uh, of equity, which I'll briefly talk about here. And that's different from equality. So equality is the idea that we treat everyone in exactly the same way. For example, we talk about it when we talk about payment. Can we have equal payment? irrespective of the gender or the age, for example. Uh, equity is different in the sense that you uh, try to reduce or accommodate uh, things like barriers or biases. So talking, for example, about a barrier, if you have a person that is in a wheelchair, uh, you will never be able to treat them exactly the same way as the person who is not in the wheelchair. You will probably not remove the stairs, for example, but you can at least reduce the barriers by also having an elevator or so on. So very often you cannot really achieve true equality, but your aim is more equity. Can you accommodate that a person is different and that's causing them uh, barriers, for example, or their biases, stereotypes, there are any kind of negative opinions about people can you anyhow reduce them to the extent that uh, people are included and they are not having any big obstacles, big barriers in their way. So these are the concepts we often talk about when we talk about uh, diversity and inclusion in software engineering, in computer science. And we will now in the next part go into 
why is this a topic that we need to care about when we are considering software development? 